Welcome to this channel. So yesterday I shared a video on Shaolin, the Nei Gong and Qi Gong. And today I'm going to continue on to share with you what is the real deal Chinese Kung Fu and uh, why we want to avoid the so-called internal art today or internal art which is uh, really popular in past 100 years. So let's start with this. Mastery, mastery in Chinese Kung Fu. Mastery will mean that one will be able to take a really complex systems and explain it really simple and clear. So a complex system, one be able to explain it in a very simple and clear way. That is a signature of mastery. It's like a physics teacher in our high school be able to explain us on the mechanics and so forth. That's called mastery. Another type of mastery is for a simple stuff, one be able to uh, describe the details of that simple stuff. So there is important here to know this. Why? Because if you want to communicate on something, the beginner for sure will not understand what is going on. So it requires one to uh, be able to communicate really clearly, make a really complex system simple to understand. And so that everybody be able to learn. And for the simple stuff, one need to be able to explain the technical details so that one be able to uh, implement it, develop it. So there is no mastery without capable of explain or communicate a complex system in a clear and simple way and also be able to tell the details of the simple things. Ancient Chinese is like that, especially those Zen monks, those Buddhist monks. If you read the ancient scripture, you can see how details they can get into when they deal with every state. Okay. Now, this is the same with today's in engineering. You want to build some uh, product, you need to be able to explain to your boss what are you trying to build no matter how complex the system, and also explain the details needed, the, the, the standard, the quality needed in a simple stuff. Otherwise, there's no way you can build anything. No one will know what the heck we are talking about. Okay. So mastery is that standard. So don't call yourself a grandmaster or master or sifu if you don't have that standard. Why? because you don't even have a high school teacher standard. So what is master? Look at our high school teacher in, in, in physics class, in chemistry. In fact, many high school teacher is really good in explaining things. And that's why they be able to produce good student and the good student go to college and they went to their their, their, their doctor study and so forth, then you become great scientist, great inventor, great businessman. That's how this world is run, okay? So come back to reality. Now, the second thing is Chinese Kung Fu for past 100 so years is have become a kid's play, kid's play, okay? So when we are young, you know, at least at my time, we watch a lot of cartoon. And 
in the school, we're going to sometimes argue about how to build flying saucers. You know, the flying saucer in the, in the cartoon. And guess what? <coughs> the big guy always come and beat you up, no matter how is your descriptions of the flying saucer. And the big kid who is aggressive and, and, and big, be able to bully you, always is right in the way of building the flying saucer. Okay? So Chinese Kung Fu, if you look into history for past 100 years or so, it is always like that. It got nothing to do with, uh, is that true that there's a flying saucer? Is that really uh, 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 really fit to the reality? Okay, according to the reality of physics on the flying saucer, it doesn't matter. It matter is talk with your hand, not talk with your mouth. Well, those are kids play. Okay, that's why when you face people like Xi Xiaodong, nobody can say anything because. The MMA train in a scientific way, sport science. Okay. So 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 it is a disaster. It become a, a kids play or, or, or kids uh, argument on flying saucer. Who have the a, a bigger fish? Whose flying saucer theory is proper? Look around. Is that that? Now. Another thing is, let's look into Wing Chun. Yesterday, some friend asked me, say, well, Hendrik, so you really go through all this, uh, the, uh, the, the, the real Shaolin document and the fake Shaolin co uh, document and so forth in the history? My answer to him, is yes. That's why the other day I mentioned the four classic of Chinese martial arts. The Wu Pian of the Tang Sun Zhi, General Qi Ji Guang, and the Shaolin Sword Strike classic. These are legit. Even Tang Hao make a study on the Shaolin Sword Strike classic. Is it that? This is a real deal. Nothing to pick. But when Tang Hao study the Taiji internal and uh, the Shaolin, like yesterday I show you, Tang Hao said, well, come on, stop. So I have to study that. Why? Because the only way to define Wing Chun is to have the real base. It's just about a month ago, you watch my YouTube, that I make that to defense Wing Chun. From those Asia so-called grandmaster picking at Wing Chun. The reason they cannot touch us is because we know the truth of the Chinese history and they don't know. And we can link the entire thing to the 1850s classic and they don't have it. So they need to go mind their own business. Do you think anybody will leave me alone if I am not capable to show that thing? Of course not, right? Now, you need to know, Wing Chun is like a big corporation. You need a lot of generals, a lot of good director, VPs to protect your, 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 your corporations. The minute you lost your VPs of engineering, of research, marketing and everything, people is going to attack you. Because why? It's good to use you to make their benefits. So it's like a big corporation. As soon as you are weak inside there, people are eating you alive. Because they want your business. See, this is the reality in the history. 
So that's why in my channel, I deal only with history with facts. I don't care which grandmaster you are. But when you touch the Wing Chun past generation grandmaster, even if it's not my lineage, I'll defend it. Why? Because I'm defending what is the reality, the truth. I'm not taking side. There's a difference between taking side and defend. Okay? So, for us Wing Chuners, we need to defend all our uh, past generations. If they are right, we say they are right. If they are wrong, we say they are wrong. But we defend it. We don't let other people from outside to just step on you whatever they like based on their grandmaster, this and that. So I make that YouTube, everybody can go watch it from everything. Well, there is a reality. Because uh, at that time, uh, there's one guy over there saying, that, oh, you guys are Wing Chun, a, 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 a liar, cheater. How dare you use the, uh, the, the, the ancient Chinese classic? That's why I put that in front of everybody's face. So shut up, okay? And that's why the Restricting Wing Chun is based on that three classic. The Kung Fu 1560 is based on that three classic, Qi Qi Guang, Tang Sun Zhi, and Shaolin Sword Strike. So you're not going to touch Wing Chun. Sorry, okay? This is the Chinese martial art mentality, right? It is for self-defense. We are not going to take other people's bully. We're not going to bully other people. But whatever is proper, we need to present to the world say, hey, this is proper, so stay away, okay? We have this ammunition. We have this proper ammunition from the history, technically. And today in the sports science, it's not about that kid stuff again. Oh, the kids flying saucer theory. Who have a bigger fist? Who can beat who? Who have the say? Sorry, this is not the world of the kid. Okay? So, it's based on ancient evidence and based on science. Nobody can get away. Disregard which grandmaster one have the title. So the grandmaster better better be careful for what they are talking about one simply don't want to touch what one have no idea what it is okay so this is important and that's why the reason why i leave this in the america because we put in the public record you want to check make my day check all the go study all the classic you don't know okay so everything have to dry up now, so if we get into what is a real Chinese Kung Fu, in past 100 years, it is a big trouble of, again, I'm using this uh, flying saucer theory, okay? Building flying saucer. You know what is the internal art for past 100 years is, can be analogy, the Chinese Kung Fu. Internal can be analogy. The Kung Fu where it get it get trashed away, get 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 tear apart by Xi Xiaodong. Well, the analogy again, let's using the analogy of building flying saucer. Building flying saucer. Like kids talking about building flying saucer. Well, everybody can have their five cents, okay? So in today's world, the popular one is they're using something called Taiji Classic, okay? Taiji Classic. And then they start to have to, to, to claim that they can build this flying saucer, which is the most mightier, can fly, and then all sorts of stuff. So you have the side view of flying saucer, and you have a top view of like a Tai Chi diagram of the Chinese culture or Chinese civilizations or Chinese philosophy. 
so that that's what a flying saucer so flying saucer you will tell you about the internal mechanic you need to test your gene okay you receive you uh you you send your gene and then no mind no self uh using your mind not using your force using your yi not using your force uh pay attention to your uh what uh to 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 your to, to your yi okay uh, using your mind uh not concerned about your breathing okay and then energy and then chi and then uh slow can defeat fast okay so everybody is sitting down there in the room for past 100 years talking about this flying saucer oh we have in ancient there's this flying saucer or this uh, internal art of china called flying saucer and everybody have their five cents on flying saucer and they're keeping talking about this for 100 years or so okay don't pay attention to your breathing okay it's in your mind not focus in your mind not in your breathing okay focus in your mind not in your uh, strength you need to have mind power chi power energy power so what is energy all energy is energy uh, cosmos energy okay astral energy well what are you doing they yeah, exactly like the kid is uh, talking about their theory of building flying saucer and if they have this flying saucer they'll conquer the world remember the et from the outer space they 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 come down with a flying saucer and then they have all this thing and yet after 100 years they go on and on and on you, you see that how many people really know what they are talking about how many people how 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 many people uh, is going to tell you what is the internal mechanics and all those things everybody have their different view okay so is it a real flying saucer there at least up to now xi xiao dong prove to you there is no flying saucer okay so what is a real chinese kung fu real chinese kung fu is not building flying saucer or claiming uh, you know how to build flying saucer or you own a flying saucer real chinese kung fu is like building a car okay building a car you will have to have your transmission system with your gear and so forth to 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 to, to transfer your mechanical strength and so forth You need to have a combustion system that pushing this this transmission. This is building a car. Today we go Google how to build a car. Everybody, you can Google. You can see all the complex stuff turn into simple and simple stuff in technical details. That's why there are so many cars um, factory today. You have Ferrari, Porsche, Honda. BMW, Mercedes Pen, and everybody follow this car. Okay? But you don't see people build flying saucer today. Even the Chinese don't have that company. Okay? So this is the, the car company, transmission system combustion. The Chinese Kung Fu and all human is the same. The transmission system here over there the chinese say they externally train your muscle your bone and your sinews that's externally and then you need to have a, a muscular endurance okay that's the transmission and then the combustion analogy in human you know like uh, the, the 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 car the the combustion system in human it is what internal train your breath 
your breathing. Your breathing, which is related to your cardiovascular, cardiorespiratory system. Okay? Which is, today you can measure with the VO2 max and the HRV. And so this, this system, this breathing or this is combustion system is going to support that, uh, that, that, that uh, muscular uh, the, the, the bone and so forth. So with the same with the car. Okay, very detailed. Now, it is now building flying saucer. And the thing here, so-called the gene test, you know, all this fudging, it's just a small part, a very limited of the the transmission part of the muscle bone sinews uh, 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 part of the, the the system so 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 if you talk about the gene test it is like testing the the uh, what do you call it the uh, the transmission or i spin this way I'll be able to take the force and return the force. So it is something like this. Like in my book, uh, this uh, Wing Chun, basic Wing Chun art and science. It's just something like that. How the force apply, or maybe this is a bit better. All the stuff, okay? Or all the stuff. Now, is there anything, everything? Is there everything? No, it is just a small part of handling, of, like a handling of the gear. There's, there, there are still many things which is you need to talk about in the transmission system besides your 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 force your force uh, uh, handling, right? So now this is a flying saucer. This is real. If you going to go into this flying saucer, building flying saucer, then you know you're going to live in uh, uh, some some world which is non-exist when the entire world is this the human world is this building car is this this from the complex to simple from the simple to details everything here over here you always say oh it is uh, this internal classic this chi cosmos energy astral energy using your mind not using your body or your strength, or your breathing. Well, you need a combustion system to push your, to, to, to drive your, uh, to power your, your, your transmission system, isn't it? You need your breathing and so forth to power your, your human motion and activity, right? Even you talk about the, the, the force handling just be able to uh to to say i be able to uh to, to to receive a force or to return a force in a really 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 low speed and in a high speed is a complete different thing and if you want to really exert force in a high speed you need to have your oxygen your cardiorespiratory system so power is it force multiply the velocity. For force, you need this and you need this to generate the force. You want velocity, you need both. Now, if you want in the martial art a continued attack, then you need the muscular, cardiovascular, respiratory, the endurance or your VO2 max and your HRV. You don't need to satisfy this. You want to fight 
you want to race your car, you need to satisfy this, or else you will not be able to do a continued attack or a, 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 a sparring. So uh, here there's no sparring. There's push hand. There's this and that standing down there, top flying saucer. So that's why when you face Xi Xiaodong, everything broke apart. Why? Because Xi Xiaodong live in this world, not living in your flying saucer world. Okay. So this is the reality. So Chinese Kung Fu is about this. It's not about this. And so we need to look at, you know, what is reality? Are we still in a, like a grade five or grade four? Uh, arguing on the uh, uh, how to build a flying saucer in our uh, in in our class, elementary school class, and uh, our flying saucer is always using your mind, using your energy. What energy? Don't know. So it's like the that uh, the 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 Ronnie Dangerfield movie. Or oh, energy is just a widget. What is a widget? It doesn't matter. It's just a fictitious stuff. So, so are you kidding? You want to face the real world with this? Again, this is what General Chi Chi Guang in the chapter 14 of General Chi Chi Guang read about it. That's why not just for 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 our friend here when I was young. When I was young, it actually torn me apart too, because in one way, I keeping heard about this internal power stuff. On the other way, I'm practic practicing Kyokushin. You get the KO sparring. So how is this internal stuff works in the Kyokushin sparring? It tear me apart too. So I was thinking, oh, maybe there are something advanced I don't know. So I want to learn this, 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 this building flying saucer. Not until after 30 years of that, read all the, the, the thing and say, man, you guys are, are building flying saucer. And while the rest of the world is building car or building real athletes. Okay. So but this flying saucer building theory has been influenced everything including wing chun and i heard from somebody said well if you practice wing chun you soon lift weight what are you talking about lifting weight is a very general term strength training and so forth you need to be careful for that of course uh, uh as any uh, sports today know, the sports science today know, if you want to play, you want to do, you, you want to be a swimmer, you are not going to train like a volleyball player. If you want, if you are a, a runner, you are not going to train like a weightlifter. Well, because you need a different type of functional training. So your Wing Chun, do you, Will, will the weightlifting screw you up? Well, depend on what is that functional training is about. So are you going to lift a uh, power lifting where, where you are not uh, you are not a power lifter? How about are you lifting playing your kettlebell? Those are different things. So again, it need to be this clear. It's not going to be flying saucer. Oh, you must not do this. You must not, must not do this. It become really, really doesn't make any sense anymore. So welcome to the world of Chinese Kung Fu. The ancient, the ancestor climb out loud on here. For past 100 years, you're keeping generate all kinds of flying saucer grandmaster. And now you got a Xi Xiaotong pops up and all those flying saucer grandmasters shut up, but they still fight each other, right? 
like picking at Wing Chun. Oh, Wing Chun is this, uh, Wing Chun is that. They are a flying saucer grandmaster. And so that's why I say we need to base on the real world, the real history of China. We need to use the wisdom of the ancient. You want to talk about the development of the, the, uh, the, 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 the breeding? You go to Anapanasati. You want to talk about no mind? You go deep into Anapanasati, it's not here. No mind. No mind is what? Do you know what is it? I don't know. People like that over here. You, you look at how many people be able to tell you that no mind is actually from Anapanasati. It's based on breathing. When your breathing drop down, like all those yogic, their mind, their, their, their thinking, their thought drop down. Okay, and then they become tranquil in this path. So we know the details. It's not like this. It's only you say a word where everybody can put their five cents in. A flying saucer is the flying saucer. My flying saucer is uh, better. My theory is better. Why? Because I can beat you. Those things is just a kiss of death. So right now in the West, in America, if people want to play this uh, flying saucer grandmaster, there's their business. But at least that we are here as sane people. We based on science and the real history because those are the real thing. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you. It is this clear now. That's why. I always tell my friend, you want to talk about internal? Show me your VO2 max and HRV. Everybody spend about $150 can buy a, a good fitness tracker to, 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 to answer to the questions. You want to talk about the gene and all this thing? Tell me about your muscular endurance and so forth. Well, this is ISO chain. This is quantized. You can measure. And don't tell me that uh, Wing Chun don't uh, train with weight and everything. Wing Chun do train with weight. It's only does it fit the functional training for Wing Chun. And also weight doesn't mean that one need to uh, load one's joints up or make one stiff or train uh, improperly so that one's body is having all kind of problems. Using the uh, red boat training band, those are all strength, muscular endurance. So that's why my bottom line today is, show me your VO2 max, your HRV handling, show me all this uh, uh, muscular endurance, your strength training uh, value. If you want to talk about internal or whatever, the, the, the advanced martial arts, tell me that. Or else, this is just a very basic. This is just a very, very basic thing. If we don't even have the training, are we kidding? If we don't have the, 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 the VO2 max and uh, the, 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 uh, the, the strength training, can we do the continuous attack? For well, sure, it cannot be, do, cannot be done. When you want to have a continuous attack, you need the high VO2 max, and which is your combustion system to support you, and then you need the high uh, muscular endurance to, 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 to support you, which is your in your transmission side. We're talking high speed, continuous high speed. Isn't that what fighting is for? The basic of it. We don't even talk about handling or momentum, different technology, different techniques here. We just talk about the basic. 
Now, if one keeping building flat blind, uh, 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 what, uh, uh, arguing on the uh, building a flying saucer, well, you know they'll never get there. You know it. So this is what I like to share with you. Uh, many people still living like yesterday, live uh, leaving comments under my YouTube say, well, why don't you show your skill? Why don't you show your skill? Well, I already show your, my skill here. I tell you in detail what the heck's going on, okay? So do you know how to listen? So it's like you go to a high school, you ask the high school teacher, show, you, show me your skill. And the high school teacher said, do you know what the heck I'm talking about? Or you have no brain even to be able to understand what the, the, the high school teacher presenting. 